Hi friends! It's so good to see you again. Today we're playing with a cool ice cream puzzle and learning numbers. From 1 to 10. We just need to match the topping with the right ice cream. The numbers will help. We'll start with this ice cream. See, it has a single green dot in the middle. Can you guess the number? It's spelled out on the back. O-N-E. That's one. one. Now let's find the right topping. Hmm. Do you see it yet, friends? It has to be somewhere here. Uh-huh. Found it. That's the number one. It's a match. And the topping and dot are both green. It's number one. Good job, friends. The next ice cream has more dots. Let's count them. One. Two. We've got two brown dots. So what number are we looking for? That's right, friends. Number two. Two. Let's see. Is that two? What do you think? No, it's a six. Oh, here's a two. We found it. The dots and the topping are both chocolate colored. Ooh, I love chocolate ice cream. And now we have a match for number two. Okay, this ice cream has blue dots. Hmm, this is getting harder. We should count them. What do you think? Go ahead, count with me. One, two, three. So if there are three dots, then the number we need to match is three. Where could the three be hiding? Keep looking, friends. It's this one! Yay! It's blue like the dots, and the number in front is a three. I bet this ice cream tastes like blueberry. Okay, let's try this one next. Hmm, I think we have to count the dots. One, two, three, four. Very well, dear friends. There are four orange dots, so we need to find an orange number. Four. Oh. It's not these ones. Look, an orange four. That's the one we need. This ice cream must have the orange flavor, right? Okay, which one comes next? There's a lot to choose from. I will just pick my favorite color. All right, friends, can you guess what this number is? Is that two? What do you think? No, it's not two. Look, we have five pink dots here. Now, let's find the right topping. Where did it go? I can't see it anywhere. Whoops, I passed it. Here is pink number five. I bet Barbie would love this ice cream. Pink is her favorite color, and mine too. So what number comes after five? This one has a lot of dots. Let's count them all. Come on, together. One, two, three, four, five, and this one is six. Is this a match? Or maybe this one? What about here? It's one of these. Yes, the green topping is six. Well done, friends. After six comes this number. So what could it be? Do you know how many dots there are? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got seven dots. There are seven dots. So where is the number seven? All righty, where is the right topping? Is it here or is it there? What, nobody can find the seven? Fine, have a look again. Here it is. <laughs> I can't trick you, can I? This topping fits in here and number seven is done. See, numbers are easy and fun. Yay! It's so many blue dots. That's a lot of counting, but we can do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, almost there, seven. And what is the next number? Eight. That's right. Is this the right topping? Not this one, too. Yes! This is the blue eight! Eight is so pretty. It looks like two circles stuck together. Okay, we have two more ice creams to go. How many dots there are on this one? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, and the last one is nine. Which topping is the nine? We only have two left to pick from. Eeny, meeny, mini, mo. I will choose this one. Did I get it right, friends? Let's see. 
No, something isn't right. It won't fit. Oh no, I guess I picked the wrong one. Oopsie. This orange topping is the nine, actually. Well, everybody makes mistakes from time to time. Good thing that now we have our nine. And it's time for the last ice cream. Let's count the dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And what comes next? Do you know? Ten. That's right, friends. And here's the right topping. Does it go on this way? Wait, that's not right. I am just kidding. It goes on this way. That's better. Well, we matched all the ice cream and the toppings. Wasn't that fun? Yay! Let's count them one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Wow, you're getting so good at this. But wait, I have even more fun for you. This is a puzzle with colorful shapes. We need to place them on this stand. Looks tricky, right? But together, we can do this. This is one peg. So we need a shape with one hole. Here it is. It's a blue circle. Let's see if it fits. Yay, we picked right. Look closely. There are two pegs here. It means we need a shape with two holes. Aha! This yellow rectangle should work. It slides right on. Great. For the next step, we have one, two, three pegs. So we need something with three holes. Maybe this one? Nope. This is not the right shape. Let's try again. How about this one? Of course. It's the red triangle. Let's keep going. One, two, three, four. There are four pegs. So we need to find a matching shape. Here it is. The green square is perfect fit. And here we have the most pegs. One, two, three, four, five. Now we know what's needed. Let's search for a shape with five holes. Like this one. It's an orange pentagon. And it has five matching holes. But don't go just yet. I need your help to put all the shapes in their places. Let's go. We need another circle to fit on this peg. And we can use the green one or the orange one. Green or orange? I'm gonna go with orange. Here we go. This one has two pegs, so that means we need another rectangle. Here's a green one, and it goes right here. Now we need another triangle to fit over three pegs. I know, it's here somewhere. Ah, here's a blue one. Boom, perfect. The square has four holes, so we need to find another one. I want to choose this orange square. Do you think it will fit? It does. There are five pegs here. That's where a pentagon goes, just like this yellow one. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here to help me, friends. We need another circle. Are there any left? Hmm, I like this red one. Remember how many holes it has? One, correct. Now we need another rectangle. I'll sneak up and... Gotcha! And zoop, awesome! It's time for a triangle. So we need a shape with three sides and three holes. We can use this green one. There you go, buddy. Now we need four openings. But I don't want a blue square. And I don't want the red one either. Yes! This yellow square reminds me of sunshine. Here, we need the pentagon with five holes. Hmm. Ah! The red one looks like a flower. Huh? Am I doing it wrong? Phew! Almost got me! And here we go again. We need another circle that looks like a donut. What shape is this? Rectangle. You remembered. Great. A rectangle is like half a square. Let's pretend we're true detectives. We need to find another triangle. Where does it hide? Oh, there's one. Let's grab it before it gets away. What fits on four pegs? That's right, a square. This blue lies so close. Boink! Oh, look! The ducky wants to help us. I'm ducky. And I can find the next shape really fast. No, we need the shape with five holes. Hm, this one won't do, too. Aha, here it is. One, two, three, four, five. 
This shape has five holes. Very well, Ducky! You did so great! Now, let me put that green pentagon in its place. Friends, we have only five shapes left. And I bet you know where each one of them goes. Here, it's one peg, so we need a circle with one hole. After one, goes two. So we need a shape with two holes. And it's a rectangle. We have only three shapes left. Let's move them to the right spots so that they match the shapes above. Did I do it right? I think so, but let's check. The yellow triangle goes right here. Great! The red square goes here. Perfect! And the blue pentagon fits in this spot? We did it! I'm so happy you came by today! Don't forget to like this video and subscribe so that we can have more playdates together. Bye-bye! Love you!